What's up guys? We're back with another video. Um, so today we're gonna be putting the rack system together, the Husky uh, three-tier rack system. We're gonna be cleaning up these chemicals off the floors. Um, like I said, my, my uh, main goal is to have these chemicals off of the floors um, to where, like right now you can see, sometimes I'll have leaves in here, you know, different types of debris in between them. And then also, um, stainage on the floor and everything like i said i believe in the last video it might have been the first video before this whole series um my kind of goal is to possibly renew it renew this lease and then um probably 2024 uh depending on how things go i'll probably get this whole garage floor um kind of resurfaced or epoxied possibly um, I kind of see, I gotta, gotta see how I wanna do that. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna take these um, chemicals off the floor and put together this three tier uh, rack system from Husky. Okay, so now that we got that area cleaned up, we're about to go attack this thing. Let me grab my box cutter. Okay, so now that we got it open, um, let me see if you guys can see me. But now that we got it open, it starts off with the uh, kind of the structure right here. So this is kind of what it'll look like. Now you want to have it facing like this because these two uh, things right here are kind of the feet of it and they face inside. So this would be one side and the other side is under here. So I'm going to just set this right here. Perfect. It stands. Obviously, you got your instructions. So you got the uh, you got the instructions right here. So this is kind of um, the post that we just stood up right here. And then we got to get the other one, and then we'll get the shelves, and then the uh, shelf um, kind of like brackets, so to speak. But right now, we just gotta find out kind of how we want to level these. So the B pillars, they're right here. Now, when you put this on here, um, make sure you'll get the you'll get the um, B pillar like this. But the side that has this little shelving, that's the part that the rack is going to sit on. So it's going to look like this initially. Now on the end, you'll see that you have these um, teeth right here. These teeth sit in these grooves. They sit in these grooves right here. You notice the, you'll have them on both sides of the uh, actual structure itself because you can buy um, some more extension pieces and kind of make it double-sided. So you can have some going out here and then you have some going out here. But always make sure these teeth are lined up properly on um, the placeholders that they're supposed to be on. And then you also wanna have a rubber mallet or you could use a hammer or your fist. I actually have a rubber mallet somehow. I have no idea, <laughs> but throw that bad boy right there and then um, from that point, you want to kind of measure out where you want it to be um, shelf-wise, how you want it to be shelf-wise. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and make sure you guys are lined up for me to 
kind of demonstrate. I'm demonstrating this box, um, if you will. Now these right here, guys, hopefully you guys can see this. This right here has um, two curvy points on each side. So it looks like this, this is the uh, C. They don't come labeled, but this is kind of where these go. Kind of got you guys on my tripod right now, but there's three of these since it's a, um, a smaller shelf build and as you can see there are little tabs right here on both sides so you can see them right there that is actually where this goes so it actually hooks in there like so and it's basically a middle middle support system for your rack so I'm gonna kind of put those on. I don't know if you guys will be able to see me do the bottom part, but I'll do the uh, top part first. You guys probably saw me pull out the uh, pliers or whatever. Uh, sometimes if your you know, equipment is kind of banged up in the box, um, these tabs or so will like kind of bend like this one is. And we're not gonna go too crazy. I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. I'm just gonna Grab it with my tool and just bend it up slightly so it's still at a 90 degree angle. And you see how this one is almost at like a, uh, I wanna say 70 or so. But we're gonna grab it, not go too crazy, and just put it at a 90 degree. So this is kind of how it'll look. And uh, with the opposite ends, these right here, this is gonna go flush onto this ridge right here where the rack will sit. So it'll go flush on there. So this is kind of how it fits, how it goes in there. Put it sideways in like this, turn it, make sure this top edge is flush with the part that the rack is gonna sit on. Make sure those tabs are lined up and they literally just go in place like that. That's pretty much all they're there to do. I'm gonna do the same thing. Not go too crazy, not too much pressure. So what's left le uh, last is the rack. Honestly, they should try to protect those a little bit more um, because they can bend easily. I mean, they're pretty good, but you know, it's just a rack. But these, obviously, this is the rack. You can go either way, it doesn't matter. 
There's not a right or wrong with this. You just simply place it on the top. And you're good to go. That's pretty much it right there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting these racks on. I'm gonna carry this over to the uh, to the station where I'm gonna have the chemicals set up. And I kind of put this shelf a little bit higher than the bottom because I kind of want my um, supplies that is not being in use kind of on the bottom. Like um, if I over purchase some products and the gallons are just sitting, I kind of want them to be right there at the bottom. But then I kind of put this top shelf up here. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with that. I'll probably put my um, like drying towel, some other stuff up there. I still gotta figure that out. I'm definitely gonna probably use my bottles possibly. But on this middle shelf, I kind of put it up a little bit higher than what uh, a normal person would do is because um, my chemicals that have spouts on them already, I just want to come over, bring my bottle, pop off the top, and then twist the spout so it can fill up the uh, bottle as easy. I don't have to lean down or bend over how I was doing before. So I kind of put it to where my height is. And you know, I might have to bend over a little bit or something, but I can just twist that spout and hold my bottle right here and we're good to go. I don't have to break my back doing it, so. Okay, so here we are. Boom. This compared to that. <laughs> I mean, and they were just sitting on the floor right next to that little shelf thing, but I mean, check that out. Besides the floor and the ugly-ish wall in the background. Looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty good to me. Now I do have something else coming in for my bottles. So I'm probably gonna be getting rid of these things, but I don't know. I mean, after putting this rack together, they can most definitely just sit there. Or I can get like some little tabs and they could just hang right here or find um, something that Husky has where I could just put each bottle right here or even kind of build a, sh a little holding shelf right here just for my bottles to hang. But I don't know guys, I mean, this is looking pretty good to me. Like all my other chemicals that I got tons of um, I got a ton of acid in those, so I rarely use my acid. I've had those for a long time. Um, but yeah, I kept the floor mats right here. I do kind of want to replace them with something else kind of larger, and that's just kind of one piece. But for right now, it's kind of doing a job, honestly. Um, quick little hack. Uh, whenever you're leaving out for the day, just kind of flip them on the side. I don't know if you guys have leak problems with the chemicals that are kind of laying down like that with the uh, thing, but I just ordered um, new caps and new spouts for these um, on Amazon. They're out there. I forget what they're called, but if you type in chemical um, spouts, they should pop up. But yeah, I mean, I just got the, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that stuff up there mitts, clay mitts, and bug, scrub, bug scrubby pads, and then uh, chamois, and then some just uh, blades, and then got a fire extinguisher down here, extra bucket. I got my um, oil, oil filter changer thing. I use those for the, um, the caps right here so I could take them off, mix chemicals and dilute and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much the build right there. Um, I'm not gonna be showing you guys the build of the bigger one because I already did that by myself. And yeah, I did it by myself. You can definitely do it by yourself. Look at all this stuff I gotta clean up. But here it is, here's the big boy. So I got the big boy set up over there. Still have to get everything on here, transfer it over there. Um, but I'm doing it in a cooler, cooler way. Um, a guy that I saw with this rack, now he actually has a dope, 
detailing page and like it's like no other out there that's probably why he's blowing up so fast but he details semi trucks um work trucks all that and so uh, i believe his page name is called chemical x or something if you guys don't know about this guy definitely go check him out and one of his videos and i'll throw a picture up right here so in this video you know i was just watching him stuff and so you know when you're mobile when you're starting out um this is kind of why i had these white racks i mean i didn't need all this like i just moved into this shop just because i had to and so now that i've been here for so long i got rid of my mobile side so i'm strictly here um, now I kind of want to upgrade my space, upgrade my tools and equipment. And so when I first moved in, I was like, hey, let me let me just grab this old thing in the basement, use it right here. Let's do this, this, this. And my first real upgrade was those two great cabinets over there. And so now that I'm upgrading, but before I was still thinking about doing mobile and offering, going down to the industrial area and offering, you know, power washes and washes for the semi trucks and stuff like that. So I ran into across this dude. I forget his name, but his page on YouTube, I know for a fact, it's called Chemical X. He's got a great product line, but his detail bay is set up to where he could bring in semi trucks, dump trucks. I mean, it's crazy, man. Go check this dude out for real. Like, for real. Tell him I sent you. But anyway, he pulled around this rack and literally he had wheels on it so he he can like his detail bay is huge so he can drag this rack anywhere he goes he's got like a five gallon pump set up to it he's got wheels at the bottom which is dope he's got these um kind of cabin cabinet containers set up in there um he's got his gun his power washer gun mounted on there i mean he's got this whole rack just decked out and it's the dopest thing ever. If you guys saw that, video, uh, that picture I just posted, just go ahead and screenshot that if you wanna do that same build. I was honestly thinking about doing that same build, but I'm like, hmm, am I really gonna be wheeling this thing around in here? No. <laughs> so if I get a bigger one, maybe. But yeah, um, I just plan to get those uh, bins, put all my chemicals in there, and just you know have them ready to go make it look much cleaner much more you know upscale if you will if you like this video share subscribe uh tell a friend about it um give me a like even comment in a section just say cool dope hey whatever what's up it really helps the youtube algorithm um to help people find me and recommend my page but We'll see you guys on the next one for the next build, baby.